Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me on Make It Monday. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the UK and I am so excited to share my birthday card club with you today. This fabulous club gives you um, a whole heap of Stampin' Up! products plus eight cards a month for four months. So that is your... Um, I would hope... I mean, you, I don't know how many birthday cards you make in a year, but that's a good good chunk of your year's birthday cards made, sorted, done, before the middle of the year. How cool is that? So, birthday card club lasts for four months. It lasts January, February, March and April. Um, it features the Picture Perfect Party Suite. And each month you get to about £25 worth of Stampin' Up! products, plus eight fabulous cards for you to put together a complete card kit, the lot. So, month one is your picture perfect birthday stamp set and the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Month two includes the picture perfect party designer series paper along with the Bermuda Bay and Lemon Lime Twist Ink Pads. The month three is, a, is the fabulous striped embossing folder another berry burst ink pad and the binder clips that are so cute that i haven't even got them yet <laughs> and then on month four you will get the paper ribbon and your final ink pads that coordinate with that designer series paper which are pool party and peekaboo peach now i am completely in love with this suite it is absolutely gorgeous and i would love to see you in birthday card club Sign up does close really, really soon. I will stretch it probably to the middle of the month, um, but I will have to close it so I can get these things ordered and out to you before the end of January. So if you want to join in the club, let me know. The link to sign up will be on the blog post that coordinates with this video. Link for that, as always, is in the down bar below. But I do have a fabulous birthday card to share with you today as well. Using, of course, the picture perfect birthday stamp set and this gorgeous designer series paper now i have already chopped my um my pack because i couldn't i just couldn't leave it alone it's fabulous the um this is one of those packs of paper that i looked at in the i will admit i looked at it in the castle the first time and i went oh i don't know and then i saw it in real life and it's gorgeous so we have photo real birthday images on one side and on the other are some fabulous, kind of bright, fun patterns, kind of birthday themed, but so generic you could use them for anything. And I think the cards in this club are just awesome. So, I have a super, super simple card for you today. Um, keeping things really quick, really easy. I have a piece of that paper. I've got the photo real side that's confetti and it's gorgeous um, on a berry burst card base. And I've got a strip of basic black um, cardstock that's one or well, 2.5 centimetres by 10 and a half, which is the width of my cardstock um, and about the right size for my sentiment. So we've got confetti paper and there is the most perfect sentiment in this stamp set for confetti paper. There's a sentiment that says, cue the confetti. So I'm going to pop that onto my block. And we're going to heat emboss this in white. Now, I don't heat emboss often on my channel because I, it's loud. And I'm, I'm loud enough, to be fair, but still. So, there are, I have a couple of tips for heat embossing. There is some heat embossing in the club. Um, I will give you alternative options um, if you don't have the, the stuff you need to heat emboss so heat embossing you require obviously you're stamping your cardstock the stampin up heat tool which is my absolute favorite heat gun i've ever used um so i use that one i also have an embossing body um, and i'll tell you about that in a moment you need a versamark ink pad and some um stamping emboss powder i keep my embossing powders in little tubs like this just because it's easier uh, for me to i don't have to, to I, I make less mess that's it i, I let mess, make less mess i also use ice cream spoons um these ones i found on amazon they were really cheap so 
to heat emboss. The first thing we're going to do on our basic black cardstock is we're going to pop our embossing buddy down and we're going to cover it in some of the powder. Now this powder stops all the oil off your fingers um, getting onto the cardstock it, and it means that your embossing is crisper because the embossing powder will stick to anything moist. So if you've got oil from your fingers on the cardstock or anything else you might get kind of speckles of embossing powder and when you're embossing white embossing powder on black cardstock it's really obvious so i tend to, on darker colors it's, it's really important so i'm going to ink up my stamp in versamark ink versamark is a clear sticky ink you, that this, you could do this with um wistful white craft ink as well it works exactly the same and i'm going to pop that down onto my piece of black cardstock so, grab my little tub of embossing powder and I just use the spoon to pick up some of the embossing powder and just tip it over my cardstock, flick off the excess and you get that. Isn't that cool? So now what we need to do is we need to heat that up using our heat tool. Now I've heard stories of people doing this over toasters and all sorts of other things that just scare the and hair dryers that scare the living daylights out of me. Please use a heat tool. It is designed to do this. It's not going to burn your cardstock. You're not going to set fire to anything. And it's just the safest way to do it. So the Stampin' Up! heat tool has two settings. It has a one and a two. If you are heat embossing on vellum, use the first setting. Otherwise, go straight for two. This is going to get loud. So... I tend to turn my heat gun on away from my cardstock and let it heat up for a couple of seconds and this helps to prevent warping of your cardstock. It will, your cardstock will still move and will still bend um, but just less. Bring it over to your cardstock and watch it melt. Okay, so that is now melted and it goes a little bit shiny. You don't need to wiggle your heat tool around. You, that's completely unnecessary. Just move it slowly across. Watch it melt. As it melts, move it along. The You will now see though, I've got a bit of a white cast on my cardstock and all you need to do is rub it away with your fingers. You could use a microfiber cloth, um, you know, if anybody watches my channel on a regular basis, you know I'm a little bit obsessed with microfiber cloths. <laughs> use them all the time for all sorts of things, but I actually don't have one handy today, so I'm just going to use my fingers to rub that, that um, embossing powder, um, the powder of my embossing body away. The other thing about your embossing body is you want to store it in the bag that it comes in, because that powder just sort of leaks out and can get everywhere so if you keep it in the bag it keeps it all contained so that is heating embossing it's really quick really simple stamping up carry a number of colors of stamping emboss powder we have white clear uh gold silver and copper i don't i can't remember if we have a black anymore i'm not sure but you can heat emboss with any of our stamping up ink um you just need to be a bit quick about it before it before the ink dries get that that powder on um, and it works really well i really love the look of white heat embossing on black cardstock though that's just my favorite at the moment so we're going to assemble our card i am using fast fuse because it's my favorite so fast fuse or snail on the back of your designer series paper that's going to go straight down onto our card base and then I am going to take one of uh, a strip of foam adhesive, um, one of the yeah foam adhesive strips, um, and I'm gonna actually gonna end up with two I think on here. I cut mine to kind of perfect sentiment lengths, <laughs> but this sentiment's a bit longer than I normally use. Um, just to pop that sentiment up, just like so. And that is our card for today. Isn't that cute, quick and simple? And it looks awesome. 
So thank you ever so much for joining me here at Stampin' by Hannah. Anything you've seen in my video can be purchased in my online store. Link is in the down bar below or you can find the um, link via my blog, stampin'byhannah.co.uk. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.